What up, party people? It's your colorful captain of tomorrow, MC Popsicle! Oh, no, come on. Come on. Stop, stop, come on. Oh. And today, we are talking about one of my favorite movies, The Toxic Avenger. It came out in 1984. It was a comedy horror type thing and it just blew up and took off and now it's one of the biggest cult movies of all time. They have candy, they have cartoons, they have video games, basically anything you can imagine they have because this blew up so big. And today we have a very special guest. The guy that actually played the Toxic Avenger himself. Y'all, give it up for Mark Torgo! How you doing my friend? I'm I'm doing well. I'm doing well, and uh, so good to see you there. I like your glasses and your hat. Oh, these? That's from our sponsor. Thank you. So, what you been up to, buddy? Um, I started doing a little acting uh, post um, COVID here. I just worked on a movie called The Macabre, and uh, I've got a pretty gruesome scene in there where I get a a, a hatchet to my head um which was fun to do doing that and uh, starting to live life a little again you know now that things are kind of normalizing so I, i've got a, a film coming up in uh in a couple months in nebraska and lloyd kaufman that have trauma is also going to be in that movie it's called the after school lunch special but it's really a horror film um, and I've got a couple of uh, conventions to do later in the year, too. So, getting back out there. Yeah, we're all trying to get over the stupid COVID thing. But, I'm super excited about the After School Special and Macabre. Please let us know when that stuff's coming out. All right, down to brass tacks. What is your favorite movie? Well, The Toxic Avenger, of course. Okay, me too. But excluding The Toxic Avenger, what is your favorite movie of all time? Um, I, 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 I'm a big fan of Freaks. Have you heard of that one? Yes, the one from, it's it's like from the 30s or 40s, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, one of, one of us, one of us. That's, that's a good one. Google gobble, Google gobble. Yeah, I like exactly. that too. Exactly, exactly. Um, Night of the Living Dead, I'm a big fan of. Um, I like Basket Case. Um, those three I like. Okay, so what you're saying is you like Toxic Avenger or other equally crazy movies like Toxic Avenger. Okay, I think I understand. Yeah, Freaks was super divisive at the time because they used like real circus people. Yeah, controversial because they used real freaks. Yeah, you can't get away with that anymore. No, no. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get away with Toxic Avenger anymore. Yeah, I was about to say. Also, what about the reboot? Do you know about that? I do. Yeah, Peter Dinklage is playing Toxic. That's crazy. That's I think crazy. it's I think it's genius. Dude, I love Peter Dinklage. He is so talented. I would love that. I would really love if he were in that movie. I think it's yeah. going to be really funny. I'm hoping to get on on, on that actually um, as a cameo. So um, nothing definite yet, but I've got the word out. Yeah, they definitely need some of you guys from the original Trauma movie because I watched it last night and I don't think it can be replicated. Yeah, it took on a life of its own. And, uh, you know, when it first came out, it didn't do very well until it started doing the midnight movies. Um, and then it got, you know, it turned into a cult status type thing. Uh, but not, not right away. It took a while for that to happen. Um, and with social media, it's just taken off again. You know, it's just growing and growing. And um, my involvement has gotten a lot larger since I started doing conventions. Um, I made my own movie based off of the Toxic Adventure called Toxic Tutu. I know and it's, about that. Yeah. It's the almost true story of whatever became of the Toxic Avengers, Melvin the Mob Boy. Uh, <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of fun doing that. That's streaming now. It's on Amazon. Um, uh, you can you can buy a DVD from Amazon too. Definitely, that is really cool. Yeah, and during the research for this, I saw that. And I was like, yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> that's really exciting. Everybody, check out Toxic Tutu. 
Also, before I forget, I want to ask you about something you said earlier. You said the Toxic Avenger like slowly grew into cult stardom. Like it didn't start off very big. So how did that happen? Like what happened? Well, it, it had a very limited theatrical uh, run in the beginning. Um, I think, and I was in uh, New York at the time, and I think it was playing um, in, at a theater in, in Midtown, and it, I don't even know if it lasted a week. Um, but then it started uh, being shown in the in Greenwich Village at the Bleecker Street Cinema as a midnight movie on Saturday nights, and it started getting a following. And then it got written up and then people started talking about it and it turned into a party every Saturday night. And then it started blossoming around the country doing the same thing. I even made a personal appearance there one night after it was really uh, cultishly popular. And uh, I was trying a little stand-up comedy and I was really awful, but everybody loved me anyway, you know, in the audience. So. And it, then it just took on a life of its own and, you know, became this cult favorite uh, monster movie that, you know, just people never forget it. <laughs> Definitely. No one is forgetting they watched The Toxic Avenger. <laughs> so, like, what were you doing? How did you get involved with Troma in the first place? Um, I was going to film school at the time and Troma put up a, a job notice on our job board. Um, at New York University and it said um, come and work on a film students come and work on a real film we won't pay you like they would on a real film but you get great experience so I went down to the trauma um, offices in Hell's Kitchen and talked to Lloyd Kaufman the president and Michael Herz and uh, they were like it was actually the year before Toxic Avenger on a movie called The First Turn On and I just went there to uh, to see if I could be the script supervisor so I could work with the director. And Lloyd was like, yeah, you could be the script supervisor. What else do you want to do? And, you know, I was like, I like to write. Oh, good, you can write some additional scenes. What else do you want to do? Uh, you know, I should have just said, you know, let me direct it. Um, but then the way I got involved in acting is I was the script supervisor on this film. And one day um, we were filming a pretty important uh, scene um, and the actor that they hired did not show up and it was it was a pretty major part and so we were sitting around waiting for this actor and finally Lloyd said Mark you do and I did it, and they loved the way I did it it was another socially awkward nerdy character and then the next year when they made Toxic Avenger they said what we want is what you did last year um, so if you want the part it's yours and I said, great, I'll do it. And the rest is history. Wow, what a ride, that's crazy. I feel like there's a life lesson in there somewhere, but I can't think of it right now. But also, what was it like working with Trump? I bet that was super fun and like crazy. Oh, it definitely is. It's, it's wild. Um, everybody is doing it uh, for the joy of film and the joy of just working for trauma and making these crazy ridiculous movies that they make and they the, the crews are always trauma fans and toxic avenger fans and so it's just a love fest you know and everybody's doing it just for the fun of it mostly because nobody really gets paid you know very few people get paid on these things um so it's it's just doing it for the joy of working with trauma hold on i think i understand what you're saying and that is trauma needs to pay you more <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mark, thank you so, so, so much for being here. It's such an honor to talk to you. I love the Toxic Avenger. I love everything you do. Keep up the good work, my friend. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate everything you're doing, too. Thank Hang you. in there, Popsicle. <laughs> appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow Mark on Instagram. Here's his link right here. Also, are you tired of being ugly? Hit up Accent Blaster on Instagram for a shirt just like mine. Also, shout out to 1428 Nightmare Studios. They custom made this beautiful mask just for this episode. And I love it so much. If horror is your thing, make sure to jump on over to their page and hit them up. They got all kinds of customizable stuff and it's amazing. Or, if you want these glasses, hit up Filthy Shades on Instagram or Facebook. Also, check out Stay In Motion Skateboards. They just sent me this. I love it!
They're high quality skateboards. They're amazing. Grab yourself one. Also, StickerYeti.com. They made popsicle stickers. You can get one from me or you can hit them up and they'll make whatever you want. So yeah, hit them up. Also, shout out to my people at Emerald Coast Pools. If you need a pool or a hot tub fixed, hit them up. Thank you so much for watching Weird Movies and I'll see you next time.